Heather McKee of Nottingham is a soap addict and a prisoner cell block H fanatic. But, like I should Im imagine every prisoner fan, she wishes it was on earlier. Mrs Betty Ryan from Manchester speaks on behalf of millions when she complains it's frequently taken off to make way for other programmes and she's fed up. But I take my life in my hands and, uh, <clears throat> for a change, here are some comments from people who actually don't like prisoner. I can't believe this, but Charles Hargreaves from Manchester says it's not a soap, it's a comedy. Children could write bigger and better plots. L.P. Willard from Leighton Buzzard says during the war he developed a passion for chocolate drops that were grey in colour, gritty in texture and tasted of aspirin. So not surprisingly, he is now a prisoner fan. Unlike an angry and understandably anonymous viewer from Southampton who says it's complete and total rubbish. What? Ten million people can't be wrong, can they? Back next week, keep writing, especially sons and daughters fans. Cheerio and hello, B. All the house end up in danger over this. I'm going to rearrange your arms and legs. What about Laura? She pointed the finger. Sweet gentle lass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Here she is, the lady whose arrival in Britain has been eagerly awaited by millions and legions thronging the dock here. Val Lehman, alias B. Smith, of course. And since we announced that Val was going to be our guest this week, we've had sackfuls of letters from prisoner fans begging us to arrange a meeting. So, I mean, wh what does it feel like to be a cult heroine, and why do you think all this has happened? Well, it isn't the first time that it's happened to me, you see, because there was a viewing audience for the show of 39 million in America. Not that I ever actually visited America, because I was too busy making the show at the time. But it was extremely popular in Australia when it started, too. The only thing I find is extraordinary is the, is the distance of six years yeah. uh, since I've stopped working in the show. To have it all sort of regenerated is a bit strange. must be strange, strange yes, and, yes, yes, back into part. What, what's, what strikes a lot of people in this country is, I mean, I, I think it's fair to say that in British television, the standards technically are quite high, you yeah? uh, And the technical uh, standards... were they ten years ago? Well, fair enough. <laughs> the, the technical standards on, on prisoner aren't that good. I mean, you know, there's the wobbling scenery and stuff. What, is, that be, is that because it was done on a low budget or done, as you say, ten years? ago in the 70s and early 80s a bit of both i think yeah. yeah and the lighting was only very good at the beginning because we had an english chap come out and do it and then he left and it went downhill rapidly <laughs> <laughs> so much so in fact that uh, i do remember on one occasion in the laundry scene i looked in the monitor and i thought i'm in the dark over here you can't see me although i adjust the lights but they didn't <laughs> so when they started doing the take i lit a cigarette lighter underneath my chin <laughs> and they, they stopped taking because i think miss layman is trying to tell us something <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But, I mean, so did you all find it i mean i mean a lot of people a lot of people take it dead seriously and love every minute of it a lot of people do watch it because they find it quite amusing. I mean, did you find it funny to, to, to act in? Some of the things that we were asked to do, and in fact, the big, what we call the big print, the stage directions, were absolutely hilarious. You know, three flies buzz around the wound on her, wound on her face. We said, oh, I'm getting three flies from you. Uh, in Australia, but, no problem, I Well, it's it only three. <laughs> 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 but it was... Uh, we took it fairly seriously in terms of work. It was quite... It was very hard work. We were working very long hours, producing two hours airtime per week. So my schedule was about 13 hours a day, five days a week. Um, and we were aware that the scripts were not wonderful, so we had to work very hard to make them even the slightest bit credible. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. But that soap opera, I, don't, I mean, I don't know any soap operas that are really, really believable, do you? Um, no. <laughs> I guess not. I, sp I, I mean, supposed to be, I mean, Brookside, I don't know if you've seen Brookside in, in this country, yeah. is, is, is supposed to be about as sort of true as realistic as, as you can get. Yeah. But no soap opera, soap opera is supposed to be a documentary. They're supposed to be entertaining. Mm. Yeah. Not that I'm saying that all documentaries are not entertaining. They are, but mm. then they appeal to a completely different sort of audience. And sort of audiences that soap operas are aimed at mm. seem to be uh, quite fulfilled by the show. Absolutely. So. As you say, 10 million can't be wrong. Is it true that in Australia, when it was being screened prime time, about 8, 8 30 at night there, um, it was actually banned from, 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 from the viewing rosters of prisoners because that they, were, they were copying the kind of things that were going on ah, in Wentworth? Yes, not in all states, but in some of them, really? yes. And uh, I do know that at Fairly Women's Prison in Victoria, and that's where it was made in Victoria, that they were allowed to watch it and it went on for quite a long time and they did eventually stop it because on one occasion uh, a storyline had gone to air where the prisoners in the show set fire to the place in order to cover an escape and two weeks later they tried it fairly and made a dreadful mess and people got killed and, was <laughs> and the lighting was terrible mm. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting was shocking <laughs> did, did the, and we are actually for, for people who haven't seen it we ought to recap a bit i mean mm. the character that you play b smith is this sort of well this murderous to be frank um mm -hmm. she killed two people Yes, yeah, not a criminal, a murderer, it's a, a killer. <laughs> killer. There's a difference. She's not an institutionalised uh, criminal. Mm. And she's uh, uh, discovered the fact that she is capable of murder, which is part of her power. 
she knows that she could do it again and so does everybody else. <laughs> yes, but she's got, but I mean it's corny, but she's got a heart of gold, she's got an incredibly strong sense of fair play and justice, mm. hasn't she? I mean, a she, real earth mother. A yes. real earth mother, right. She kind of rules the roost, you know, when the doors are shut and the guards have gone away, she's the one in charge. But it must be fun to play a good meaty part like that. It's fun never to be wrong. <laughs> it's wonderful, All right, always right. I <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed that. And a very big fish in a very small pond. I mean, mm. unlike uh, B, I have to operate in the entire world, yes. which makes life a little more difficult. Yeah. Do, you, do you still get money from it, to be blunt? I mean, if, if, it's, if it's showing in this country and it's no, showing in this... No, to be blunt. You don't, no, <laughs> don't to be you? blunt, you get money. No, our residuals in Australia are paid what they call up front. So, um, and I was fairly sort of strong. I was actually an equity rep for three and a half years on that show. And uh, as we all know, actors aren't the most wonderful people with money. And they'll say, oh, isn't this wonderful, I'm getting $2,000 a week. And I said, no, 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 divide that by four. Because you are being paid for four playings of your work worldwide. If you're well and truly dead and they're still playing it, you're not getting any more money. So you've already been paid for the residuals. Mm. Oh, so, so, I mean, if it goes on for another 20 years in this country, endless repeats, you don't see a... Uh, a if they repeat it more than three times, then they have to pay us again. Ah. Mm. Well, that might happen the way it's going. Well, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Did, Sorry. No, did you come over here because b because news of this phenomenal cult success had reached you? I came here because I was invited by the fan club to do so to come and make personal appearances. Yes. Right. Right. You're going to be mobbed, I think. I, I have never seen. I was, you can't see, but there are, uh, there's a whole horde of people. <laughs> no, they're, all yes, they're all waving. You can't see them on camera, but there's a great line never, of people. It's along lies. The there's no one there at all. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. And we interview all our guests here, and that's the first time I've seen that. It's just it's just astonishing. astonishing. We were. I mean, because we have to get up pretty early in the morning to do this show, we get up at six. So to be quite. Quite blunt, we don't see Prisoner very much. We've seen it a few times, and we watched a few videos when we knew... Videos? Videos, when we knew you were coming <laughs> over. I'm getting an Australian accent, the videos. Um, and what struck us about it, in, for, in terms of its success, is because the storylines, they're very, very powerful, aren't they? I mean, it's, there's, not, there's not much action, because it's all set in the cells and in the prison, but there's a very strong human interest to each of the storylines. I mean, it's to do with murder and, you know... Also, also I think you'll find that, unlike a lot of, perhaps, American soap operas, where it takes four years to have a baby, uh, our storyline is very concentrated. There's a lot happens very quickly. That's right. And yes. so, if you miss three episodes, you're really sort of you know in, in trouble. You can't sort of catch up. So, I think it was quite clever. It meant people sort of remain glued. Yes. <laughs> they yeah. couldn't afford to miss it's it. Ter it's terribly confusing over here because each each uh, independent television station transmits them in sort of some are sort of episodes behind ah, others yes. and things. Mm, so mm. so mm. nobody sort of if you move around the country, you know what's going too, on. Actually. It is. Yes. Yeah, so uh, some states picked it up later than yeah. uh, New South Wales and Victoria, for instance. Yeah. Well, listen, it seems incredible that it, you, that, that it was stopped in production. I mean, it no more had been made since 1986, is that right? That's right. It's yes. finished. And you left it actually before then, didn't you? Friday the 13th of May, 1983. Actually. Really? That was my birthday. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, oh. fancy that. What a coincidence. Um, but, I mean, with such a success, surely there must be some plans afoot to bring it back. I mean... Oh, no, absolutely none at all. Well, I think why? Well, Grundy's uh, too busy making other series now. And the extraordinary thing is I find that everyone sort of imagines that, Grant, that, that Prisoner and Neighbours was on at the same time. It wasn't. They're yes. years apart. Mm. Yes. What do you think um, of Neighbours? I don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy I it? I don't watch it. It couldn't be more different than, no, uh, than Prisoner. No, I, I I'm not at all surprised that children, young people like it because it preaches, it seems to me, that uh, all adults are totally loopy and <laughs> not to be listened to and all young people are infallible. Mm. I thought it just preached that everyone in Australia wears beautiful beach shorts and very bright <laughs> t-shirts. Well, I'm glad the inside of my house doesn't look like any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's a, a, fairly, a fairly common view. What about soaps generally? Do you watch, I mean, do you watch the British soaps that are shown over there? No? I don't not, watch soaps. You're not no. a soaps fan? No, not She's, you've overdosed on soaps, mm. I think. Oh, well, Noel Card said a long time ago, some people work in television, some people watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I think it tends to be a bit true. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy television for very good documentaries, for instance. Um, uh, marvelous foreign films because we have a foreign film uh, we have a foreign uh, service uh, network at home mm -hmm. and uh Good one-off productions, usually British. And programmes mm. like this? Mm. Well, well, it was lovely to meet Chat you. Shows, yeah. Yes, thank you very much indeed for coming. If you can fight your way back, I hope mm. you get, get out alive. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you My very pleasure. much thank for coming over. Right, now, after the break, it's uh, our medical phone-in with our regular family, Dr Chris Steele, and chiropodist David Ashcroft. See you in a minute. 